I have asked retired Lieutenant General Russell Honore uh, to lead an immediate review of security infrastructure, interagency processes, and command and control. There is strong interest in the Congress in the 9-11 type commission and outside, outside commission to conduct that after action review. And joining me now is Lieutenant General Russell Honore. Lieutenant General, thank you very much for coming back to the Sunday show. Good morning. All right. What questions do you need answered as you conduct this investigation? Well, we're still formulating those, but my task is stated by the speaker, which is to uh, review uh, the infrastructure at the Capitol, the command control as well as the procedures. Many of those uh, procedures and command and control got a big bump after 9-11. We, we had all of the pieces in place to forever protect the Capitol and the government buildings in DC after 9-11. Then over time, things change. Uh, we've got all the tools in the box. We've just seen the government deploy 20,000 National Guard on short order. And my hat's off to the National Guard. Both of my sons are in the National Guard. They're not there, but they're in the National Guard. My hat's off to those troops who left home on short notice, as well as the actions of the Capitol Police in defending our legislators and defending the building. And many of, one of them lost their lives. That being said, my job is short. I'm coming in with one suit, one tie, and my work clothes, blue jeans, overs jacket, and, and cowboy boots. We're coming in to get this done because all the answers are there. We got to get the tools in the box working, Jonathan. They didn't work that day. And everybody who knows about this, from Mr. Clarbon on, know the tools are there. The tools didn't work. We've got to get the tools to work, get all of government so to work together. And that is what we want to try to come there and to get accomplished in short order. So th this is why I asked you that question. What questions do you, do you need answered? Because as someone who tells it like it is and is plain spoken, uh, you know, we had you booked on this show before you were asked by Speaker Pelosi to uh, lead up this investigation. I just know as you watch the events unfold on January 6th that you were asking particular questions about why certain things didn't happen. Can you give me one or two of them that ran through your mind as you watched the events unfold on January 6th? Well, I think inside the Capitol, we had sufficient police when you look at all the three level agencies to deal with this crowd, but they were not synchronized to be there at the right time and at the right place. Uh, we've got to figure out how we prevent that from happening again. We also want to look at the infrastructure at the Capitol We'll make some quick recommendations because we can't afford, nor should we want to have 20,000 guard troops permanently stationed in D.C. The fixes are there. We've got to turn mm -hmm. on the right tools to get it done and then look at the, the buildings inside the Capitol, the compartments of it, how we harden that Capitol to make sure this never happens again. Lieutenant General Honore, one more question for you, and that's this. There have been um, allegations made by Democrats in the Congress that they believe that this was an inside job. Whip Clyburn was just on talking about how he wondered how people knew where his third floor out of the way office was. Will your investigation look into those those allegations that the insurrectionists, the domestic terrorists had help from members of Congress? That's the job of the Congress and the three-letter organizations with the DOJ and FBI. That's not outside of my scope of work. My scope of work with my team will volunteer to, to help with this. Uh, people smarter than me that know these plans and have operated with them before is to work on the infrastructure, the command and control, and to look at what changes need to be made in the coming weeks once we withdraw these 20,000 guardmen from the Capitol and take some of these fences down and create a new normal. You know, we are up against something that we became enlightened to, and that is the work of what happened when terrorists, people with terrorist intent, the definition of terrorism is people use violence and intimidation to achieve a political or religious objective. We've always worked those 
tasks in the army I was in, in foreign countries. Now we have to look inward, and that's going to cause some hard work by the Congress and the DOJ to make sure that we're actively working those people with terrorist intent before they show up at the Capitol, before they show up at the state Capitol. And they've got to change some rules. Some rules they've got to change is we can't have demonstrators showing up at a state Capitol with damn long guns. Your First Amendment right don't give you the right to carry long guns to a demonstration. And that is confusing the hell out of police and intimidating people. Remember, one of the objectives of a terrorist is to intimidate, if not to cause violent harm. And that has to be fixed. And that's in the Congress and the DOJ and the White House. They got to figure that out and they got to work with the American people because we can't have it all. You can't have freedom to carry a long gun in a courthouse and at the same time go outside and protest. That is unacceptable. And that's something the American people are going to have to come up with. And my note to the American people, see something, smell something, hear something, say something. Call 911, take a video, provide first aid, and run like hell. But in the meantime, enjoy yourself, America. The country is safe. Go about your business. Just be aware of what's going on around you. And if you know somebody is about to do something, let the authorities know. Amen, amen, amen. Lieutenant General Russell Honore, I feel safer already. Thank you so much for coming back to the Sunday show. Good day. God bless America. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.